Greetings, friends. How can I help you? That's right. How can I help you? Because you see, unfortunately, now that the uh, Super Bowl is done, that perhaps your resolutions, your good intentions, uh, your new plans for 2020 are also done and gone. And perhaps there's some skills you need to acquire so that uh, truly 2020 might indeed be a better year, but for most people, it will be the same old year. I'd like to visit briefly about that, see if I can help you with some real life skills and perhaps a little fire in your life that will uh, make you a little more fully alive. I'm Stan Houston. The program is called The Master Entrepreneur, and it begins right now. This is what you will have to do in 2020. You'll probably have to listen to some good advice from time to time, and I hopefully will bring some of that to you. But what I'm doing is probably something you're going to have to do in 2020. Well, let's go right into it. Now, the big event took place in uh, the United States. Uh, it was the Super Bowl, and it is the uh, kind of a 1st of February, big, almost make-believe holiday in which... Uh, an American Football League game is played for the World Championship, and uh, it's a big football, radio, television, media event. And it just so happened that uh, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers, and the young man, only 24 years of age, uh, stood out and was the hero of the game. And that is going to be a million-dollar player, maybe a multi-million-dollar player. Uh, good for him, though I'm not so sure that uh, making that much money at the age of 24 is really good for us all in all. Here's where we're going. Today, here's the problem. I said before that January 10th, was an incredibly important day because by that time, most people have kind of lost, uh, within 10 days, some of their good intentions and resolutions for the new year. Well, you know what? As one of my mentors pointed out to me, by the time the Super Bowl is done, usually the first week in February, usually the same thing is now true for just about everybody. They're back into the routine. The uh, holidays are fully over. And, of course, we're back at it. And most people who had some good intentions and good directions and perhaps some new purposes in life, for the most part, that's done. <laughs> Just like the game, it's done and it's gone. I wonder if that's where you are at. Could that be? Well, what I'd like to do is, first of all, drop three words on you, or three expressions, and perhaps you can just let them sit on your head for a while. What if these were three descriptors that would describe you? Full force. Full force. On fire. Fully alive. Now, would any of those descriptions suit you, describe you. Full force, on fire, fully alive. Again, just think about that. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, simply encourage you to think about some of the real skills that might be necessary. Now, I went off air for about a week because you know why. My last program was just about this time, uh, perhaps a little later in the week of last week, because of the uh, very terrible and timely death of Kobe Bryant, this world-class, world-famous basketball star who, uh, after going to uh, 
communion on Sunday and then went on a helicopter ride with a, a group of his friends to be in a tournament for young girls. He and his dear daughter and uh, seven other people died in a terrible accident. And certainly that news dominated the uh, the week as well it should. Obviously, those of us who live in North America know that the impeachment trial of President Trump carried on. And so really there wasn't very much that I should say or add to the noise or perhaps the confusion. And uh, that's one of the things I love about personal on-demand radio is I don't have to be there because I can be there when I have something important to say or at least hopefully believe it's important to say. You can listen to it whenever on demand. I don't have to be as I used to have to do I have to say something because we have to say something on the air. This is radio done differently, and I think radio done uh, the way it should be done, and radio of the future. The old-fashioned radio will perhaps die out quite shortly in the next three to five years, and what we call uh, individual, personal, on-demand, iPod, individual, personal on-demand radio broadcasting will be the style. And uh, just like you're hearing it here, perhaps on your laptop, most likely on your smartphone or your tablet or some other digital internet worldwide web device. That's the future. I've predicted that perhaps the last full radio might be uh, sold this year. So I didn't say a lot last week because uh, there are more important things for you to spend your time listening to and paying attention to. However, we're back, and what I would like to do right now, with your permission, is to uh, take an example from someone else who I admire and perhaps just comment on it. Now, there's a guy who is much more famous than me by the way we have the same haircut, if you look at my picture, and we wear glasses. His name is Seth. My name is Stan. You know, four letters, four letters. But Seth Godin is a gentleman who has revolutionized the world in many ways in teaching people how to use the internet to build a business, internet marketing, uh, sales and uh, marketing, and of course, online education. And we owe a great deal of gratitude to him because we learned a lot that is helping us with What It Takes Radio and with the Christian Entrepreneur Network. We follow his work and his wisdom because it has been helpful to us. Now what he did recently, one of the last courses that he put out, was one that was entitled Real Skills. Real Skills. And I didn't uh, subscribe to it because I just didn't have quite the time and I didn't have the $495 that was handy right at the moment. And that's what he was charging for it. He's uh, very good at what he does and he charges premium prices for the products that he provides. Good for him. In many cases, I would say that everything you can get from Seth Godin is probably worthwhile for you if it happens to fit who you are and what you want. And I want the same thing to be true for me to you. We're not just free. We give a lot that's free. But there's a lot of our material and coaching and counseling which we'd like to help you with, which occasionally will ask for a small fee, not just free. But he did real skills, and it went on and on for a number of real skills that uh, Seth believed that you're going to have to have in the future that's before you. And there was a long list of them. It went way on to about 40 skills that he said that uh, these are the things that you're going to have to think about, perhaps improve your performance in, and uh, do well in. 40 real skills. With your permission, I want to come back and I want to suggest Let's focus not on his 40, but how about Stan's 7? 
Stan Houston's seven real skills that you're going to have to think about. And you know what? If you want to make 2020 not a year of the doldrums in which you were done by Super Bowl, 1st of February, if you'd like to truly get revitalized to have a better year, I think I can help you. I'm Stan Houston. TCENglobal.org slash contribute now. TCENglobal.org slash contribute now. That's the name of a where we hang out. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com is how you can reach out to me. And uh, you, for sure, will be invited to be on the radio with us and you'll be invited and instructed on how you can have your own radio program, your own radio show in 2020. We'll be back. Okay, thank you for hanging around. 10 minutes, and uh, we'll be just about 10 minutes more. What well, we've discovered, and uh, we were uh, kind of ahead of the game, that probably the best length for a podcast is about 20 minutes. The average commute in the United States has been supposedly between 25 and 26 minutes, so you could listen to this on your smartphone while you're commuting. And as one of my mentors years ago said, uh, Make a point of taking 20 minutes every day to learn something new. Read, listen, or learn something new for 20 minutes every day. And uh, you will truly be world-class in the information business. Uh, you may be a world-class expert if you take time to just learn something new in a field of interest to you every day. Well, here we go. This is going to shock you, some of you, but uh, I've been very, very much a student of uh, something I knew about and something that I thought I was good at, but I really wasn't. The first real skill is to learn how to pray. Praying is the first real skill, and it truly is a skill. What I have discovered and uh, in a, a, a new uh, platform called Praying Planet, we will be helping you and helping many others and we'll be helping each other learn about the power, the creative power, the world-changing power that there is in learning how to be a person, a student of, a sharer of, to have the skill to know something useful and helpful and wonderful called praying. That's your vital skill. Number two, you're going to have to learn about broadcasting. If you want to be successful today, you're going to have to learn how to use the modern Internet digital media. This is the Internet Connected a entrepreneurial experience economy. ICE 3. And doing just what I'm doing, learning how to use the video, how to use the radio, how to use the uh, broadcast systems. Your business is going to have to have one. Your office is also going to be a studio. And you're going to have to learn how to be a broadcaster. You're going to have to learn the skill, not just of talking, but of broadcasting. And one of the things you'll do, in fact, it'll be the major thing you do, will be storytelling. You will have to learn the art of storytelling. If you want people to follow you, to believe in you, to uh, trust you, to buy from you, you will have to learn storytelling. I wish I could do it, but I admire it because number four is you're going to have to at least gain some awareness and skill in designing. 
Someone once said that uh, Steve Jobs' real skill was not in manufacturing a product. It was in the designing of the product. And you are going to have to become aware, have instruction, have learning, have awareness, but most importantly, do what I do, have friends who can teach you and do designing for you. Number five, pay attention to your sleep. You are going to have to learn the art of sleeping well. More and more we are discovering that many of the problems that people have in the low performance is simply because they think that getting sleep is a little bit more optional than it is. They know they have to sleep because they fall asleep. Learn how to better sleep. Gaining sleep. You need, you say, well, I can get by on. You probably can't. Number five, you have to gain skill in finding ways to be better at sleeping. Here we go. I mean this. Number six, you're going to have to get good at risking. People want certainty. And there are now very, very few certainties in life. And most of the certainties aren't very good. You know, you will get older. You will probably get weaker and sicker and you will die. After that, the certainties go way down. So if you want to be successful, you will have to gain the skill and the uh, fearlessness to do more risking because fear kills everything. And right now, I could name at least seven people and many more if I gave it more time. And these people are going to have some problems because they just cannot get over their fears and uh, risk. Number seven, <clears throat> you're going to have to gain the skill of saying thank you of saying, I'm grateful, and how can I help you? I am continually amazed how many people are seeking to be successful and they don't know how to say thank you. They don't know how and have never said, I'm grateful. And they don't know how to ask, how can I help you? with any intensity or sincerity. There we go, my friends. Those are the skills, the real skills you are going to need to know. I'm Stan Houston. The program is The Master Entrepreneur. We're going to try and make 2020 work for you. We'll be right back. Hey, here we go. Please reach out to me. RadioEdge77 at gmail.com. I'd appreciate if you would help sponsor the work we do at tcenglobal.org slash contribute now. And here are the seven skills. Real skills. Praying. Broadcasting. Storytelling. Designing, sleeping, risking, and saying thank you, saying grateful, and just as I began the program, how can I help you? Think about that. Let it just rest on your head and your heart. 
May it uh, kind of stir your mind, you know, move your spirit and touch your heart. And uh, you know what? If you will start today to learn real skills, you will be one of the few who will truly have a better 2020. All the best and blessings. We'll be back as we promise to be. I'm Stan Houston, the master entrepreneur, seeking to help you have that kind of great, uh, life-changing, special God event experience. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.